actually just poked me. <laughs> Holy crap. And in today's video, we got this Logan Premier Collection statue from Diamond Select Toys. This statue retails for 175 bucks, and based on the box art, it looks like it's packed with details. Really cool. You got an image of the statue on the front there. You got some cool glam shots on the sides and on the back. It tells you a little bit about the movie. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, we got the certificate of authenticity. We've got number nine of 3,000. That's a low number. Very cool. Let's get them out of the box. So here we got the base, nothing too fussy. On the back here it says uh, Premier Collection Logan Resin Statue, handwritten number 9 of 3000. And then on the other side, this looks like some nice like a dirt path, texture with some rockiness which is really cool. And then you got a hole here for the peg that's on his foot. And you also got this nice little magnet. Oh let's go ahead and get that statue out. Okay, let's see. I'm pulling it out carefully. Ow. Oh my god, this actually just poked me. <laughs> Holy crap. You got some serious claws. <laughs> yeah, for real. Okay. It pierced the bag. It literally pierced the bag. You can see them there. Look at the details. Those claws, they do look sharp. They are sharp. What do you mean they look sharp? Jeez. <laughs> let's go ahead and plug them into the base. We got that piece. And just slide yeah, I right think, in. I think it's like, yeah, there yeah. we go. And there he is. Nice. He looks so cool. And I love that they went with this pose right. from the very beginning of the movie. The intro is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and show you guys how this movie starts. Uh, guys. This is the least. No one's gonna pay to ride. saw in that opening scene, Wolverine's still a badass. So here he is in his limo driver suit uh, after that initial fight, busted up, he's got bullet holes, he's got blood in his shirt. We see when he whips out his claws and tears those fools up. Yeah. That movie's really violent, really bloody, really good. <laughs> if you're a Wolverine fan, you'll like it. Uh, yeah. You might not like the end. Spoiler. Spoiler! I like the direction they went with it. Wolverine was always one of my favorites. And I love that Hugh Jackman's played him for so long. Right. Uh, I think it's great. The actual figure comes in at 10 inches tall with the base that's gonna put him at about 10 and a half inches. Good size. First impressions look really good. It's got all kinds of details. And I especially love all the blood. Like you can see the bullet hole right here on one side and then the like four bullet holes on the other side where the blood actually is like seeping through and you can see it on the white shirt. Yeah, you got the blood. You got nice details in the suit, his belt buckle, the details in the creases in his pants, the blazer he's got on, it all looks really good. And the portrait looks outstanding. Really, really cool. Starting off with the head, there's so much detail. You can even see, like, they use some kind of dry brush for the hair. I like represent some white hairs. And looking at the face itself, you can really see the details in the teeth and the eyes, and especially all the details in his forehead. We can see like the veins and him like angry and the wrinkles and everything. Yeah, he's got his wrinkled up brow. You can tell he's pissed off, <laughs> Yeah. ready to rip some fools up. He looks great, he's clenching his jaw. The expression on the face is so good. Right. The paint job looks great. He got some scarring on his face. Really, really nice details. And then the hair too, the beard and the hair on his head. You got all this kind of movement and texture in the hair. Looks really good and they got a little dry brushing of his grays. Really give him that aged look. And it looks a lot like Hugh Jackman. Right. It doesn't look like the Hugh Jackman we see in other movies. Like, right, like Great Showman. Yeah, that's There's like a very movie. distinct look to like Hugh Jackman and Wolverine. And, like. Yeah. In the Wolverine movie, there is something different about him. They really age him, rough him up, and this sculpt looks really, really good. As we move down into the suit, it's got a ton of details. You can see all the cut lines, you got some wrinkling, but you can still see that he's really buff under the suit. <laughs> There's like a dark blue tint on it, I guess you could say. And the main part about the overall torso is the bullet holes. As you guys can see, there's blood 
on like the actual coat and, and then going past that you guys can see that there's even more blood on the white shirt yeah the blood is a really nice touch you can see the holes in there you can see the blood kind of oozing through the white shirt like it's fresh blood the wrinkles in the white shirt look really good i really like all the wrinkles in the arms you can see where his elbows are bending and the claws look awesome they are plastic like we mentioned uh nice and stiff they're a little thin so they can move a little bit they got some give to them they're nice and sharp you will want to be careful because you can probably break them if you put too much pressure on or them. hurt yourself <laughs> so moving on down to the pants you guys can see really nice detail once again in the belt and especially all the details and wrinkles in like overall the clothing itself but especially notable down here on the pants where you can see the like the wrinkle the main wrinkle there and then especially down towards the boots right you got that crease right in the center of his pants really nice details in the sculpt it really looks like fabric the way it sits on the body and hangs in some spots so you can see how it catches on the calf area on the back really really nice details in the sculpt and then even moving down onto the shoes you can see it's got some dust kicked up on right. the sides from the dirt road the shoelaces are sculpted really well and like continuing on with the dust you can see there's even some dust on like the actual pants which is really cool and i especially love how this figure really does seem like it's from the movie with the dust the really textured base and everything especially all the details right this figure is awesome uh this might be one of my favorite uh premiere collection pieces from diamond select mm -hmm. i love the movie i love the wolverine and this is sculpted perfectly i think it's outstanding the details in the sculpt is consistent throughout with the fabric the portrait all the details in the head and the hair the expression on his face all the way down to his shoes you got the details in the laces you even have details in the paint where his shoes are kind of scuffed up from the bra outside. Really nice. The only thing that this figure would be missing is all the limb parts you chopped off those poor people. <laughs> like the arm, the leg, and everything. Jeez. And there you have our review of the Premier Collection Logan statue from Diamond Select Toys. I think it's amazing. I love the movie. Love the character. I think they captured him perfectly from his expression to his likeness, and the level of detail is awesome. I really like this piece, and like every other Premier Collection figure, this is really cool, and has such detail. And that's it for our unboxing of this Logan Premier Collection statue from Diamond Select Toys. This retails for 175 bucks. Let us know what you think down in the comment section below. And if you want to add this to your collection, as always, check for links in our description. If you guys like this video, then we like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. You still have time. Find Tip Creative Studio.